From the Heart, October 23 Pray for God's Spirit How much more will your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? The promise of the Holy Spirit was the brightest hope and the strongest consolation that Christ could leave His disciples when He ascended to heaven. The truths of God's Word had been buried beneath the rubbish of misinterpretation. Human maxims, the sayings of finite beings, had been exalted above the Word of the Living God. Under the enlightening power of the Holy Spirit, the Apostles separated truth from false theories and gave to the people the Word of Life. The Spirit of God inspired His servants, who, irrespective of the fear or the favor of others, declared the truths which had been committed to them. And under the demonstration of the Spirit's power, the Jews could not but see their guilt in refusing the evidences God had sent. But they would not yield their wicked resistance. We need to pray for the impartation of the Divine Spirit as the remedy for sin-sick souls. The surface truths of Revelation, made plain and easy to be understood, are accepted by many as supplying all that is essential, but the Holy Spirit, working upon the mind, awakens an earnest desire for truth uncorrupted by error. Those who are really desirous to know what is truth cannot remain in ignorance, for precious truth rewards the diligent seeker. We need to feel the converting power of God's grace, and I urge all who have closed their heart against God's Spirit to unlock the door and plead earnestly, Abide with me. The Lord would have every one of His children rich in faith, and this faith is the fruit of the working of the Holy Spirit upon the mind. It dwells with each soul who will receive it. The Holy Spirit never leaves unassisted a soul who is looking to Jesus. It takes up the things of Christ and shows them to the seeker. And if the eye is kept fixed upon Jesus, the work of the Spirit ceases not until the soul is conformed to His image. Through the gracious influence of the Spirit, sinners are changed in spirit and purpose till they become one with Christ. Their affection for God increases. They hunger and thirst for righteousness. And by beholding Christ, they are changed from glory to glory, from character to character, and become more and more like their Master, 